Well, we really don't have a great insight into how common this condition is. Uh, there are many men who've got Peyronie's disease uh, who choose not to be treated, uh, either because it's relatively minor or because they're embarrassed or because they're not in a sexual relationship. So I think the patients that we see in the consulting room are literally the tip of the iceberg. Most men will present uh, because of the presence of a curvature. Some men will present in the early stage of the disease when there's only pain from inflammation. Some men will present because their curvature is so severe that they can't have intercourse or because they can't get an erection. And of course, Peyronie's disease has for all men, particularly young men, uh, particularly men who aren't in an established relationship or men who are moving into a new relationship, a very, very major psychological effect. Uh, men are simply embarrassed to have a bent penis. Well, there are some very, very significant long-term complications of Peyronie's disease. As the scarring matures uh, and gets worse, the deformity increases. Uh, as the scar matures, it will contract and there can be significant loss of penile length, uh, often in the order of two to three inches. If men in an established relationship or men keen to move into a relationship have such a bent penis that they can't have intercourse, or if they can't get an erection, that has a very, very significant effect upon their quality of life. Well, although uh, a search of the internet will reveal a large number of treatments, very few of these treatments have any, any evidence to support that they work. Uh, treatments that have been suggested over the years include vitamin E, which can be administered either as a a tablet or as a cream, a variety of anti-inflammatory drugs, cortisone. Most recently, uh, there is some uh, fairly compelling data to suggest that there are a number of different drugs which will dissolve scar tissue or will prevent scar tissue maturing, which can be injected into the penis under a local anaesthetic. We don't have a lot of information as to how effective these treatments are, but the impression is that many men in the early stages of the disease can be treated medically. Some men, of course, particularly men who've got very advanced disease with major penile deformity, are best managed surgically, and the results from surgery, although not ideal, are quite impressive, and it's certainly an option for men who've got severe Peyronie's disease, which is regarded as inappropriate to be treated with medication. So I think one of the most important take-home messages to men uh, who have Peyronie's disease is that this is a surprisingly common disorder, uh, that you are not alone and that you ought not suffer in silence. Go and talk to your general practitioner, get treatment, uh, most likely you'll do well.